Welcome back to my series, Activist Kupra Gemisha does not want to be your cleaner. For those who are not familiar, I'm talking about the social justice warrior uh, phenomenon and I'm using one random activist, Mrs. Gemisha, uh, to talk about larger issues at hand. Uh, this week we are lucky because she appeared on the talk show Maybrit Ilne to exploit uh, the massacre in the city of Hanau last week. Um, Maybrit Ilne is a former TV star of the East German Communist Dictatorship and she made her money cheering on uh, doping victims as a sports reporter. Uh, for that she had to go through the same agitation and propaganda training that all the other journalists, uh, journalists in quotation marks, of the uh, communist dictatorship had to go through. Uh, that was the um, a journalism department of the Karl Marx University in Leipzig, uh, which the, the ordinary citizens were usually referring to as the Red Monastery, uh, monastery uh, the Red uh, Cloister, um, Rote Kloster. Um, it was called like this because it is obviously an ideological fermenter and um, what these people learned was um, to grab the microphone in time and um, uh, issue a counter statement to anything that contradicts the elites. Um, um, making sure that uh, little is, is said by people who dissent and so forth. Of course she also joined the uh, uniform party, the SED, the Social uh, Unity Party of Germany, as it was called the Communist Party, um, and uh, she only left it again uh, in, in 1989 when it was clear that uh, the regime would crumble. In these days uh, she is having a political talk show on the public broadcaster ZDF. Um, the talk show format is the standard political talk show format in Germany. That means uh, four to five people are invited at once. Um, they are supposed to sit around for um, a bit more than an hour and uh, in that time they come to speak somewhat between five to ten minutes, not more because there are always videos in between and there are some um, interviews with uh, studio guests and um, the host is talking and so forth. So um, we as viewers are expected to think that uh, the participants had an hour to um, uh, explain themselves. In reality it is um, the host assembling the guest list and also directing the microphone. So everybody is just preparing five to ten minute statements that they are issuing the moment they are handed the microphone. Um, Ms. Uh, Gumisha is uh, given the microphone a number of times during that um, episode, uh, but I'm just um, discussing one um, section of this, uh, the one where she actually puts some meat out. Uh, the others were just um, some, you know, some small um, comments that were supposed to make the viewer believe that every participant has actually more to say than the five to ten minutes they actually get. The segment that I have translated starts with my put Ilna asking um, how the ideology um, that was supposedly the reason for the uh, massacre last week, which it wasn't, he was a paranoid a schizophrenic. Um, but anyway, um, the ideology of the AFD, of the conservatives, was supposedly um, the reason that uh, can be eradicated from the internet and how that can be done, what role the internet is playing. So, und nicht nur die Waffe war da, Kypra Gümitschai, sondern auch die Ideologie. Und die wird man natürlich wahnsinnig schwer aus dem Internet entfernen können. Welche Rolle spielt das Netz? Das Internet spielt insofern eine Rolle, als dass das Internet eine Form von Inkubator darstellt, also einen Raum, wo sich diese Prozesse noch mal stärker beschleunigen. Ähm, wir sind Teil eines riesengroßen, eines riesengroßen Experimentes, wenn man so möchte. The first question here is, if the Internet is just an incubator, speeding up processes, what is the real issue with the Internet? And wir leben in einer Welt, in der plötzlich unterschiedlichste Menschen auf eine neue Form miteinander vernetzt sind. Wir sind, wissen nicht, was für Auswirkungen es auf die menschliche Psyche hat, wenn die wenn wir untereinander Kommentare schreiben und immer unser Name daneben steht und immer unser Bild daneben steht, wenn unser Feed, also unsere äh, persönlichen Seiten auf unterschiedlichen Plattformen eine Aussage treffen sollen darüber, wer wir sind. Wir wissen nicht, was, für eine Über, was, was die Folge ist von Überidentifikation mit politischen Positionen. Mhm. Unlike America and Great Britain and uh, the Western world, in Germany the Internet in itself is demonized as being evil, uh, a potential source of uh, misinformation and so forth. And um, 
she is playing this uh, card as well in, in the show, despite the fact that Miss Gumishai is already living in the English speaking world in Oxford in particular, and her husband is a professor of economics at Oxford University. What's also obvious is that Miss Gumishai is unable to actually explain herself what is uh, the novelty that comes with online communication. Um, I think the main issue the left actually has is that uh, people come to speak that uh, they would normally shut up. Um, it's, the mere, it's the sheer spread of uh, the conversation that is worrisome for them. There's absolutely nothing new about um, speaking or about communicating. What is worrying for them is that they cannot shut people up. Ja, ähm, was wir sehen ist, die digitale Architektur hat definitiv eine Auswirkung darauf, wie wir miteinander reden, denn es werden bestimmte Inhalte natürlich befördert, für, ähm, Inhalte, die polarisierend formuliert sind, die viel Aufmerksamkeit erzeugen, weil ähm, Studien zum Beispiel nachgewiesen haben, dass für 50 Prozent aller Hasskommentare 5 Prozent von Accounts zuständig sind und ähm, I think her issue is that uh, she cannot control what gets attention and what not, and she is blaming this on infrastructure. So it's like it's like blaming streets on something. It's like um, you are complaining about car accidents. Why complain about the street? You know, um, this is later picked up by another attendant of the of the um, uh, show, but I will not translate that part. Um, they, they, they always refer to algorithms and I've noticed that the left just simply does not know and does not care about the meaning of words. Um, algorithm um, in mathematics just means um, the way things proceed. Um, you know, of course you can blame how things proceed, um, what approach uh, thing, people have to things or whatever, but it's such a generalized um, term that um, if you're criticizing algorithms or inf infrastructure, it, it says more about you than about the algorithms. Uh, plus, um, you can't really, um, you know, um, allege Google of um, advancing Trumpian or uh, Boris Johnson Brexiteer uh, narratives uh, and disadvantaging the political left. She is quoting a study that she is not actually referring to, she's not mentioning what specific university or research entity has supposedly put out that study. 5% um, of accounts are responsible for 50% of the so-called hate. Um, and I would say I'm actually surprised that even 5% of the accounts are talking about politics in the first place because hate has become a synonym for everything the left does not want to hear. Uh, there are probably just as many accounts talking from a left-wing uh, perspective. Um, but of course she wants these five accounts to also, 5% uh, of accounts also to disappear, even they are too many. Fälle dessen sind. Das heißt, es findet eine Manipulation unserer Öffentlichkeit statt. Um, what you should know is that the term word for manipulation is the exact same as the English uh, word. Um, just pronounced a bit differently, but the meaning and the use is the exact same. And I have uh, just um, I looked up the Cambridge definition of uh, of manipulation, and that is uh, controlling someone or something to your own advantage, often unfairly or dishonestly. And uh, this unfairly and dishonestly is actually what she tries to emphasize, but she does not make her case. She can't really explain what is unfair or dishonest about the approach of conservatives, why uh, conservatives entering a discussion is unfair or, or um, um, dishonest. And what's quite funny is her uh, description of the situation in um, offline um, met metaphors. Um. Das muss man sich so vorstellen, ähm, man hält einen Vortrag irgendwo und ähm, im Publikum sitzen unterschiedlichste Menschen, aber 5% dieser Menschen halt sind geschlossen hingekommen und äh, haben sich verteilt im Raum hingesetzt und fangen dann während des Vortrags an, ähm, irgendwelche Laute von sich zu geben, dazwischenrufe zu tätigen. The strategy is actually a real life strategy that you know just comes to your mind the very moment she says it. It's like 5% just storm a room and make a lot of noise and start counter speeches and so forth. Um, 
isn't that exactly a left-wing tactic? I mean, haven't we seen that a hundred of times already? And are conservatives doing this? Or isn't that exactly how uh, the left approaches debate? Um, plus conservatives are actually joining a debate. They want to hear and listen what a leftist has to say and then respond and, you know, wants to sort out the pros and cons while a, a leftist only talks to uh, stop a conservative from speaking. That is uh, very different, but the tactic that she describes is one that only leftists use. You are free to continue your speech on Twitter. Nobody is, in, is stopped from speaking by conservatives. Shouting people down is a left-wing tactic and she is accusing conservatives of projecting um, conservatives of doing what they are doing. Und dann am Ende ähm, schreien sie rein, halten Co-Referate und spätestens dann kippt die Stimmung und wir haben das Gefühl, ah ja, Menschen finden das, was dort gesagt worden ist, kritisch. And I cannot really translate this sentence. I mean, I did so verbatimly, but I don't understand um, what she means. I mean, what people do find what um, critical? Do they find the main speech critical? Are they critical of the main uh, speech? Or are they critical of those 5% that give an alternative um, view? Um, it's completely unclear what she is even trying to say here. Ähm, und finden das problematisch. Und plötzlich leben wir in einem Land, in dem Menschen sich rechtfertigen müssen, die äh, Menschen im Mittelmeer vor dem Ertrinken retten und nicht diejenigen, die ihre Hilfe verweigern. Mhm. In so einem Land leben wir heute. Und If we even lived in such a situation, which we don't, that one side has to explain why they are human trafficking and calling it uh, rescuing, um, that would be fine. I mean, you know, Every, if every side just comes to explain itself and, and say why they are doing what they are doing and are honest about it and so forth, this would be a democracy. And the whole thing, her whole shtick is that she's actually attacking the very core of debate, the underlying uh, institution that um, all the other institutions of democracy depend on. Uh, in the name of democracy and in the name of humanity. And you see how, how she is laser focused on this. All the other attendants may uh, talk about this and that topic and they agree with her um, that uh, there's too much speech and so forth. But ultimately she is the one uh, that is very tactically going down to the very heart of the Western um, political system. And I I must say that uh, many people in Germany, this is something that's coming up uh, right now again after Hanau, are confused about the, the word democracy or republic or Western polit political system or Western values um, because the word democracy has been associated in the first step with the political system. Um, that we have and it actually isn't quite true. We are Republic and in the second step now um, in the recent years we had a lot of um, Antifa uh, financing and uh, projects um, in in uh, the mold of pseudo anti-racist campaigning that have been called democracy. Uh, but you know democracy if it is the Western political system it is the system with which we give ourselves our laws and has absolutely nothing to do with anti-racism whatsoever. Not every good cause, if it's honest, and the majority of the anti-racism nonsense is not honest, but if it's honest, it's a good thing. But not everything that's good is democracy. It's not the same thing. It's not a synonym. And um, this confusion is used by, uh, by her just saying, you know, rescuing people is something that l looks nice, sounds nice, um, that we all should, of course, uh, support. And uh, uh, she is using that as the real democracy versus those uh, people who want others, who want everybody who is active in the public sphere to somehow explain himself, to be accountable. And of course, she's not honest when she says the, the side that does not want to uh, have all these ships um, fishing out the uh, supposed uh, refugees are uh, not asked why they are not doing it. We, we are, uh, we are kind of uh, in a justifying mode. We have to explain ourselves, um, but only on a small scale. We are not giving the mic, you know, we are, uh, we have to justify ourselves to the neighbors, you know, again and again, hundreds of times uh, throughout the week, while they can give uh, their explanation for their um, actions into the mic uh, once, 
don't hear any contradiction and uh, run away with it um, without any debate. Um, that's the situation. They don't have to explain themselves. The rest of us have to constantly justify why we don't want to entice ever more people to come in when there is actually no uh, capacity for that in future. In so a land leben wir heute und ähm, und nicht nur das Internet ist mitverantwortlich für das, was wir heute erleben oder ein wichtiger Faktor. Ähm, ich würde nicht sagen, dass sie verantwortlich dafür sind, aber ein, ein definitiv ein Faktor. Es ist auch die Art und Weise, wie wir medial über Menschen reden. Talkshows sind ein Problem. Die Art und Weise, wie wir zusammenkommen und wie wir über unsere Zukunft oder über die Gegenwart sprechen. Dass hier immer absolute Meinungen gegeneinander antreten sollen. Menschen, die nicht mal sagen, ah ja, sie haben vielleicht recht oder mhm. darüber müsste ich mal nachdenken. Wir kommen nicht ins Zögern, wir kommen nicht in Selbstkritik, wir kommen nicht in Selbstreflexion, sondern es geht darum, absolute Positionen gegeneinander antreten zu lassen und um die Gunst des Publikums zu buhlen. Und am Ende gibt es einen Gewinner. And here she's showing more projects again, um, seeking the applause from the audience and being hyper-narcissist, hyper which is an issue I will roll out in future um, episodes of this series. Um, um, she um, um, is actually describing how all of her minions are behaving. They are constantly seeking the applause. They are um, all um, obsessed about what other people think and um, they uh, try to establish their views as the priority as the only good view in uh, in the realm and they do not even entertain um, other people giving their opinions. Das ist eine ähm, konstruierte Art des Diskurses, die uns nicht weiterbringt, sondern nur noch Menschen dahin drängt, zu sagen, was ist deine Meinung, das ist deine Identität und jetzt kämpfst du darum, dass deine Wahrnehmung, deine Perspektive nun Vorherrschaft bekommt. Und wir haben in den vergangenen Jahren ähm, monatelang, jahrelang die Existenzberechtigung von Menschen auf diesen Tischen diskutiert. And here we have a mild case of anti-Semitism, I would say, a, a mild one. Um, she is trying to hijack the uh, idea of um, the right to existence. If um, Israel or Israeli citizens try to say that their state is uh, threatened because the, the, the sheer existence is questioned and attacked, by uh, other forces outside. They mean, okay, there are maps circulating that show a Palestine that has never existed and, and there was never an Arabian state, Palestine. Um, they show maps that does not have Israel on and so forth. There are actual lies that, um, uh, that deny the existence um, of Israel or that uh, deny the right to existence for Israel. There's absolutely nobody who denies the existence or the right to exist of people who currently believe in Islam. Um, now that is very different from um, we want to protect Islam because um, they are free to leave as far as we are concerned. I mean, it's not as far as uh, other Muslims are concerned, but as far as we are concerned, there's no need for us that they uh, follow their religion. They can leave. I, we don't care. There's no reason why we should protect Islam. But the existence of those who are currently still believe in Islam is not question, questioned at all. Um, it is all about whittling down um, falsehoods. And if there is a core in your religion that um, will withstand all the scrutiny, um, fine, you know, we are happy to um, welcome Muslims who, um, who believe in the core that will remain after everything that was bad was whittled down. Um, but there is no guarantee. If there's nothing left of worth, that's also fine for us. For outsiders, there's absolutely no worth uh, in Islam. Wir haben darüber diskutiert, ob der Islam zu Deutschland gehört. Eine Frage, die abstrus ist. Eine Frage, wo die Antwort lauten kann, nein. Aber die Antwort lautete auch immer ja, dass er natürlich zu ja, Deutschland ja, gehört. Ja, aber wenn man eine Frage stellt, wo die Antwort auch nein lauten kann, dann legitimiert man auch eben so diese Antwort. Ja, und, 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 was, und was heißt es, ja. wenn man nein sagt? Was heißt aber das in der Konsequenz? Also... And then again, we have a second, very small case of anti-Semitism because here again, she is hijacking something that she sees probably as a Jewish privilege. And that is that our German elites pay lip service how a Jewish life should be possible in Germany. And she tries to make that out as um, uh, Muslim life should be possible in Germany. 
I personally don't need the elites to pay that lip service. I don't need anybody to say Judaism or the practice of Judaism should be possible in Germany. Um, I don't care. Um, I think our religion does stand the test of scrutiny and um, um, there is absolutely no, um, you know, um, patronizing necessary. I don't need this, uh, this kind of stuff. Uh, but she is trying to, to say, well, what if the answer to um, um, is ex Islam appreciated in Germany? What if, or does Islam belong to Germany? That was the original phrase. Um, if the answer is no. And well, that is legitimate. We, again, we have no need for Islam. You can follow it, you don't have to. Um, there is absolutely no reason why we should preserve it. It may stay, it may go, we don't care. The people who practice it right now can stop practicing it, they can continue practicing it. There is absolutely, we don't need any patronizing politicians to say Islam belongs to Germany. That's all that um, we have to guarantee. Freedom of religion, freedom of thought, uh, freedom of assembly and so on, and freedom of speech, freedom of conscience. It's actually the very freedoms that she is attacking that are the guarantee that she can be a Muslim and I can be a Jew. That was it for today and I'll see you soon. Bye.